Parents try to protect their kids from the world's dangers, dangers like crime, bad influences from peers or drugs. But what about stranger danger? Six News reporter Lindsay Kovacevic investigates how the Beaumont Police Department is committed to teaching children the dangers of trusting people they may not know. And we see a gun. What do we do? We stop. Don't touch. Leave the area. And tell them to go. In the park, and the lady uh, lost her dog. You don't go help, or you ask a parent first. Everybody got your ears open? Yeah. If they try to use a weapon on me, I call the police. You call the police? I, I, I might see somebody that looks that looks like my friend, but they they might just have a mask and uh, try to uh, run away with me. Some important lessons these kindergarten students at Martin Elementary School are learning. One, two, three. Take the bad guy. With the help of Beaumont police officer Carol Riley and her sidekick, McGruff the dog. Children love characters, and when we get him in there with them, I think it just makes them remember the day and reflect back on what they learned when McGruff was there. Officer Riley is trying to prepare children for the dangers they may face. I think giving those kids the tools to be able to react to certain situations is just one of the best things we can do for our children is to put them out there with the knowledge. The knowledge to know that anyone, even someone they know, can potentially harm them. Kids have this picture in their mind that, you know, if they're scary, if they're dirty, they're ugly, that's the bad guy. But they don't realize that it could be your next door neighbor, it could be, you know, a beautiful lady, an ice cream man. Law enforcement officers say it's important for parents to educate their children about strangers, but it cannot be a one time conversation. You must remind them over and over again. The more they hear it, the more it's going to stick. Shamika Dotson is a teacher and a parent. She reminds her children daily about strangers. We just don't hide the fact that there are a lot of kids being kidnapped. If they try to steal you, you try to um, run away. If your name is Boo Boo or Pookie or Gaga, isn't that crazy? If that's your nickname, that's good, but we need to know your full real name. Officer Riley says kids should know basic information like their full name, address, and parents' names. They need to know that we're out there as their friend to help them, to give them the tools that they need to stay safe. And don't be afraid to let your kids watch the news because so many people want to hide the fact there's crime out there. We can't hide it. Let your kids see what's going on and then talk to them about how they can be safe and how you can keep them safe. Safety of the next generation once they leave the comfort zone of their neighborhood school, taking with them the tools to help fight off the potential dangers lurking all around them. In Beaumont, Lindsay Kovacevic, KFDM 6 News. Every month, Beaumont police officers speak at schools and talk to kids about stranger danger. They focus on children in kindergarten through fourth grade.